What's up guys, Tao here. Uh, today I'll be showing you guys the Hackintosh OS installation process. If you are interested, please stay with me. Right, before we go ahead, uh, there are a couple of things I just want to mention. Uh, first, uh, all credit go to the Hackintosh community. Without the community, and this video will not be possible. Um, please go to the community side, and I will put a link down below. And um, please check it out. And then there are a vast amount of knowledge around. I'm sure you will learn a lot of things over there. Now, the second, uh, this video is not a in-depth tutorial, nor a in-depth problem-solving tutorial. Now, this video is purely designed for those newcomers for the uh, Hackintosh uh, uh, world. And then this actually is starting point to build a Hackintosh system. And then also I'm hoping this video will help those new, uh, new, new guys uh, to the Hackintosh world to help them to build confidence in building a successful Hackintosh system. So bear that in mind. And also always, always remember the success of a Hackintosh system is extremely hardware dependent. So bear that in mind. The hardware I'll be using uh, for this uh, uh, tutorial uh, are the Intel Core i7-4790 and the Z97 uh, gigabyte motherboard and a 16 gig of RAM. So they are actually just behind me here. Um, I'll show you guys quickly. Yeah, so this is the system I'll be using. Now this actually, I just, you know, for the demonstration purpose, there's actually MSATA on the SATA adapter, but that will be the uh, system, system drive here. Uh, now, underneath the cooler, that's the Intel i7-4790 and the motherboard is the Gigabyte Z97M, which is the micro uh, ATX card. I will leave the hardware down in the description, so if you guys want to check it out, um, feel free. Uh, now, this is the bare minimum uh, system I'll be using for the demonstration. There are three main steps uh, for the uh, OS installation. Uh, one is the USB installer creation and the second is the actual system installation. The third is the post installation. That means to iron out the problems, get the system up and running. So that means install the, the drivers, install the softwares, etc, etc. So that is the three main steps. Um, for the first step, the USB uh, installer creation, you will need to have access to a Mac computer to download the uh, the, the Mac OS Sierra, which is what I'll be using uh, for this tutorial. And then you need to create a USB installer on the Mac. So yeah, let me just show you real quick. Right, uh, once you have access to a Mac uh, computer, so what you need to do is you need to download the uh, Sierra onto the computer and then use the uh, USB installer to create the ins uh, USB installer uh, drive. Now, uh, since the uh, Sierra has been hidden from the App Store, uh, but there is a way to find it. So what you need to do is just Google download uh, Sierra, and then that will uh, direct you to a, a thread from Apple, uh, say how to download Sierra. Uh, so let me just quick show you. Yeah, here we go. It's how to download the Sierra. So you scroll down, and now here we will say use this link to open Mac OS Sierra page uh, in within the App Store. So you click on the Get Mac OS Sierra. Now the App Store will open, and then you can download uh, the Sierra. So that's how you download the Mac OS Sierra. Next, to download the uh, installer software, now we'll be using the Unibeast. So what you need to do, you need to go to the uh, TonyMacX86.com and to uh, download it. And then once you get there, you click on Downloads. Now the version you will be needing is the Unibeast 7.1.1. So this is the designer for uh, Sierra. And then you click on, now one thing very important, you have to register to uh, download any software on the side, so make sure you uh, do a register. So you download that, and after you have downloaded, uh, you will see a uh, icon here, it's called Unibeast. 
Now for this hardware, you will need a USB drive, um, minimum eight gig. So after that, you will just plug it in to your system and uh, I'll show you to prepare the drive here. So after that, now here actually I've done one already. Uh, you need to use the uh, disk utility and uh, you need to format the drive once it loads. I have so many drives in the system, it may take a little while. Okay, here we go. So you need to format the drive uh, with the macOS extended and uh, you can give a title if you want to, otherwise you just leave it like that. So you just delete. Uh, so make sure to format the drive with the uh, macOS uh, journal and uh, a GUI partition. So that is very, very important. So after you've done that, and uh, you double click on the UniBeast and then so just go through the installer at one stage it will find the USB stick here, USB drive and then you click on continue now just select the Sierra and then continue so I would strongly suggest you use the uh, UEFI boot mode so it's very very stable my experience uh, yeah, select that and then uh, you don't need to do any graphics injection so just leave it empty and continue now here is a brief uh, overall what you've selected and then just click on continue and then put your password in i will go ahead to do the uh, installation onto the usb now it will take a long while uh, so yeah just let it do the job and have a coffee have a tea and you can have a nap if you want to. Right, uh, one thing worth mentioning is that after you download the uh, macOS Sierra, so the app actually will try to automatically install it. So you probably will see this screen. Now at this point, make sure you quit installer. So you're not gonna install it. So now once you quit this, uh, you will need to go to the disk utility and on the left column, you will see a disk image. Now you will see the Apple UDF, uh, the actual media is mounted. So that's the macOS installer ESD is mounted. So make sure you uh, unmount this. So just simply click on the eject. So if the installer is mounted, uh, the Unibeast will not work. It just cannot go any further. So make sure that is unmounted. After the installer successfully uh, created, you will see a install macOS Sierra uh, icon here. So that means it's ready. And then you go back to the website to download the UniBeast. So the version you will, downloading, you will be downloading is the uh, Sierra. Uh, right now is 9.2.1. And I will suggest you uh, keep a copy of this onto the USB drive. So it's just for the convenience uh, for the future steps. And also, along with the MultiBeast, I will suggest you to download the uh, Clover Configurator so you can have access to the EFI drive, so if it needs to. Um, after you download everything onto the USB stick, and then the install is ready. So the next will be, will be the uh, system installation. Okay, before we uh, go ahead for the system installation, I would strongly suggest you only install the necessary components uh, just to eliminate the potential issue while doing the installation. Uh, for example, only install the CPU, the cooler, the, the RAM, and the keyboard, and the mouse, the system drive, and that's it. So just to eliminate potential issues. All right, next is the BIOS uh, preparation. I would strongly suggest you update to the latest uh, BIOS of your motherboard. And then, and first thing is load optimized default. And then you change the, um, uh, where is it? Uh, Windows 8 features, most of the motherboard will have this. And make sure you change to other OS. You can see here it is Windows 8 and uh, make sure you use the other OS, otherwise it will not boot. And also the boot mode selection, I will suggest you uh, to use the uh, UEFI. So 
that is necessary. And also the VTD, make sure that's disabled. Um, most the, well, the Mac OS doesn't really support this feature. Um, now let me see. And also we will not be using the a dedicated graphics card. So the initial display will be the uh, internal graphics card, which is on the processor. And, and also the XHECI mode is auto. Now, some on the board, we have smart auto, some of them just auto enable and disable. So I would suggest you uh, choose auto only. If you have smart auto, do not choose smart auto, uh, only use the auto. And also the, uh, what else? Uh, the, yeah, this one is enable, disable. I don't believe that matters. So I've never experienced any problems. Now the SATA configuration, uh, most of the new motherboards, they will be set to the AHCI automatically. Now, if it's not, make sure you use the AHCI. The ID is quite, um, quite old, um, quite old setting. So I think that is about it. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then you save and, uh, exit right um, after you boot from the USB drive you created here's the um, window you will see uh, you just click on enter that will start booting from the uh, USB installer okay after a while you will see the installation screen here it is um, so you just click on to the English if you want to choose other language and you go next and now here, I normally do is I will go to the utility and the disk utility and make sure the system drive is formatted properly. So uh, here's the system drive here. Now I will just make sure erase everything and give a name Sierra since the OS is Sierra. Uh, oh, that's wrong spelling. Sierra and make sure the the format is journaled, Mac OS extended, and the scheme is the GUID partition. So and the erase and after it's done, close it and then you continue to the installation and continue and agree and select the drive you just formatted um, instance for this instance is Sierra and you click on continue. And then that will carry on the installation um, process. The computer will restart after the installation. Uh, it should go back to the uh, option screen at the very beginning. And then you choose the uh, internal uh, system drive to boot. And then um, that should boot into the uh, macOS system you just installed. Right, after the installation, computer will restart. And then you will see this screen. So when you see this screen, make sure you select HFS and that is the internal storage. And then you just boot into the system. All right, once the system has booted, you will see the actual system configuration. You select your country and select a keyboard, a local network. I'm not gonna select it, although you recognize it. Uh, transfer, no. Enable location service, no. And term condition, yes. And agree. Now here's, you need to give a name. Uh, let me just give a name. And test. And account test password is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's it, continue. It will carry on to create your account and then to uh, load desktop. Uh, oh, no. Nah, in London. Share, no, and continue. When you see this desktop, uh, that means you are almost there. Uh, next is to install the multi-beast. 
Uh, I would suggest you use the UEFI boot mode, so that will have three option pre-selected is Clover and Fig uh, SMC. Now this is absolute must uh, for the system run to boot in properly and the system definition is iMac 14.2. Um, now if you're not sure your motherboard specification, I would suggest you uh, have a manual or uh, get the info online. So you will need this uh, for the next step. So in terms of driver, the audio, um, my instance, the audio is a Realtek ALC887. So I will select the ALC887. And for the, uh, no, actually, let me see. So yeah, that will be enough to make the uh, audio works. Now, if you want to use the HDMI audio, so you can select the, um, uh, optional HD3000 and HD4000 HDMI audio. Now this is the uh, HD4600. So if you want to use the uh, HD audio, uh, you can choose this. Um, now the disc, I will suggest you use the internal generic uh, SATA uh, option here. So here is this. Uh, miscellaneous. Now here is for the, if you want to monitoring the hardware temperature, that I was suggest you to use this. Now the new CPU power management, it, this is not necessary. So the OS will recognize the processor natively. Um, in terms of network, the network for my motherboard, it used the Realtek, uh, let me see the Realtek. So choose whatever the latest and the USB. Uh, now the motherboard, is the Z97 series motherboard, so I will be choosing the uh, 789 series USB support. Now also, I will suggest you to click on the increase max port limit uh, of the 9 series board. And the bootloader, you will be in select the first one. Now to customize uh, graphics configuration, you don't really need to choose this. And system definition, you don't. And that's it. This is the uh, list of options you have selected. And then click install. That will uh, install the drivers for the system. Okay, the installation succeeded. Right, after the Unibis installation, uh, technically the system is ready to go. So I will suggest you to shut the computer down and unplug the USB installer and then restart the computer again. Now the computer should boot into the desktop straight away. Now the system should recognize, here we go. Uh, now it should boot into the system drive without any problems. Fingers crossed. Okay, voila. The system is up and running and now you have a working Hackintosh. Right, thank you very much for watching guys. Um, hopefully this video uh, actually built a confidence uh, for you guys out there who want to build a Hackintosh system and then um, really hope this video help you guys out there, um, you know, just for you to start with. And my advice is and start from easy components. So that way actually to build your confidence for more difficult system build in the near future. So um, thank you again. If you like the video, uh, please click on like and share with others. And um, if you for some reason don't like the video, uh, you know what to do. And please click on the subscribe button as well. So for the future uh, video uh, updates, uh, hopefully I will do more video like this in the future. And see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.